Hello. Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> uh, yes, it's Christmas here. How are you? Oh, good time? morning. Ma good morning. You still call me Madam. <laughs> Madam, yeah. that's right. You got that's used to it. <laughs> yeah. How? What time is it there? Yeah, it's uh, oh, it's, mid, it's already midday. Already midday here. Huh? I can't hear you. You can't get me very well. What happened to your voice? It's gone. You can't get me there. You are muted. Oh. Let me share. Let you check share. first. What happened? Let me see. Let me. Hello. Are you getting me? Uh, okay, it's okay. No, I cannot use microphone because we are doing a joint live. It's not the word. microphone yeah. is not working. That's the reason why. All right, we are oh. now clear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for the rest to join us because I know they missed you very much. And um, I miss them too. Yeah, and I have questions here, so we, we can <laughs> we can answer them together. Okay. You see, I got a new sunglasses, Joseph. Look at this. <laughs> I, I I have this, I have this, madam. Oh <laughs> you see in the Philippines here we have a lot of cheap stuff. It's easy to get them oh. and they're very cheap. Cheap. <laughs> how, 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 how much? This one? Mm. Uh, this one is thirty thousand Ugandan shillings. Oh. Uh this one is only fifteen. Uh, that's okay, but but mine looks like it's one one million Ugandan shilling, so I'm fine. <laughs> uh, good thing I good thing I caught you I caught you live today because I thought you were busy or you don't have any um any how do you no. call any signal? Any, no, no, I was I was on, I only came to buy some uh, some recipes to to prepare Maru. You know Maruya. Maruya, Maruya, Maruya. What was it? Uh, preparation of banana mixed up with a uh, uh, with egg and flour. But Maruya, Maruya is Filipino recipe. Who taught you that one? <laughs> Quiet, Joseph. <laughs> you guys, Joseph is not single. Don't get caught with that guy. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to our live. I am here with yeah. my former assistant, Ugandan assistant, Joseph Wisto. I am Wisto. Travel with Joseph, of course. Don't forget to support his YouTube channel, Travel with Joseph, at um, like, uh, like, subscribe, and press that bell button so you guys get updated. Yeah. I am. I, Madam, uh -huh. I'm still pre I'm, I'm preparing Maria. You see that video soon. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. You get out of your comfort uh, comfort zone. You know, when you get yeah, out of your com comfort zone, you will learn a lot of things. Don't just yeah, uh, focus. Don't just focus on the things that you know, but try to get out and mm. learn. Yeah, true. Yes. So I noticed that you did not vlog for quite some time. What happened? Yeah, I was at the barriers. I think I told you last time. Oh, yeah. She mentioned to me that someone passed away yeah. from your family. Yeah, my auntie, uh, the elder sister, to my to my late dad, passed away too. Uh, sorry about that. Our condolences. Yeah, and we have been, you know, like in Africa, when you lose up a relative, you have to be for the barriers. I think for almost like a week. Yeah. When you're there. Yeah. So I've been there true. almost like a week. A week. Uh, I came yesterday from from the village. Mm. Yeah, so I'm now kind of bit like in the town where I came to purchase the the plantain and the mm. eggs to to prepare uh, the Maria. It was it was quite busy. Yeah, yeah. Were so you able to blog. Were you able to document so we can see how you do burial in Uganda? Uh they did. Uh, they, my, uh, I was too busy. Like since you know, um, in the family we are all too busy. All the boys, eh? Hmm. Yeah, we are given duties like me was given duty of of uh, picking up the coffin from Kampala. Ah, uh, so you so travel from, with, you travel to Kampala? Yeah, at night to go and pick oh. the coffin. Then by morning we came back. Yeah, and then we, be, we began the preparation of the burials. Uh, mm. Even uh, you know welcome welcoming the visitors because 
uh, the aunt was kind of a bit a big person and yeah. very old. Yeah, so we expected a lot of visitors, leaders from the district. That's why I was too busy and fixed up. All right, that's okay. That's at least it's now over and you guys are back home. Yeah, you know, back home. Okay, that's good. So how yeah. is it going on there for you? How are you doing so far? Uh, everything is good, madam. Everything is so fine. Uh, uh -huh. Just uh, I'm planning for a small business very soon. Hope you will see it very soon. Okay. I'm still trying to make up trying to make up some budget about it yeah so which business is, which business is it you'll see you'll see don't worry you'll see. Ah, okay that's fine that's yeah. okay that's very okay yeah. as long as you as long as you focus on uh, growing yourself because you're still young yeah. and yeah mm. you have a lot of things in front of you so um True. Enjoy the journey. I know you have to look for money because your brothers and sisters are still young. But yeah, at indeed. least you do something small for yourself, like growing yourself mentally is very important yeah. thing. Doing something mm. for yourself doesn't have to be expensive because even learning something is doing something for yourself, right? True, true. Yes, that's good. Mm. Welcome, you guys. Please share our live channel <laughs> once again. Filipino Ugandan team down there. We have Joseph Wisto travel with Joseph. He is my former you assistant. Ayan. Still your He's assistant. My... Still your assistant. Senior assistant. Now, sabi niya. <laughs> Joseph is my former assistant in Uganda. I trust him with everything. So far, he has not betrayed my trust when it comes to my personal stuff. Ayan. Of course, we have our ups and downs as a boss and assistant, but Joseph knows me very well. Okay, but yeah. let's see si Joseph Dito. Joseph, since we, you're not working with me anymore, what's the most challenging thing that you had experience mm. working with Madam Princess Higa? So people here will know, but be careful on what you say because I, <laughs> after the live, I will talk to you. <laughs> no, just joking, you guys. Let's si Joseph. Para, Para ma malaman nila, so you guys will know how was it working with Princess Higa. Some of them were asking a lot of questions about getting paid, how much do you get paid, how much is auntie getting paid. And then I tell them uh, those things we can choose to talk about it or not because our relationship as boss and staff doesn't only focus on the salary. Work. But yeah. it's a lot of things. So tell tell us, tell them what was the most... Hello, Uncle Joseph. Uh, my guy, my guy. My guy, guy. <laughs> Hi, my guy. Come on in, say hello. Come, come on in. Come to. My guy. Come, morning, Ishai. come and drink water. Uh huh. Okay, so what are the mm. most challenging things? Let's talk about the challenging thing. Uh, uh, I think, you know, I think only one thing, by the way. This is my, na my niece. Oh, hello. Uh, Hello, <laughs> okay, you go and play now. Drink water, uh, both of you. Okay, uh huh. Tell me. Mm, maybe like the only uh, is, I think there's only one thing by the way that challenged me a it? bit. Uh. uh, time, time management. Coming in the morning. Because yeah. I'm I'm very strict with time. Yeah. True. So there was one time. Let me tell you guys our story with Joseph. One time he was late. Okay? Kasi ako guys, isang beses lang talaga ako magsabi ng instruction. I will really find out the quality of your job from the time, uh, from the way you respect the time. So when Joseph was late one time, when he was still new working for me, and he was late one morning, I told him if he gets late the second time, he can pack his bag and leave the job. Very simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am not the kind of uh, person who will not tell what I what I think. I was not the kind of person who will pretend that it's okay. If it's not okay, I will tell you it's not okay. And uh, that's true. the thing with me, right? Mm. Yeah, true. But true. but for me, what I like about Joseph, that's why Joseph stayed with me, is because Joseph was very patient. He was very patient. If I'm angry, if I am this not satisfied with his job, he listens. And the most uh, challenging thing that I had with Joseph, um, I think, yes, the time. Uh, I think the time, yes. But I think later on, he was able to fix it. So it was, uh, yeah. it was a good thing. <laughs> yeah, true. 
Mm. Auntie uh-huh. keeps on telling me that you want to come and follow us in the Philippines. Why do you want to come here? I want, I want, like, you know, like, I want first try and, like, you know, see the different culture of your country plus our country. Then I relate the difference. And mm. then uh, I was talking about the weather, but I was, like, telling me that it's very hot. Is it true that in Uganda? Yes, it's very hot. That's why all of the houses, most of the houses here, um, at mm. least for, for the middle class, mm. they they have really air conditioner because it's really, really, really hot. We're talking about uh, 39 and above degrees. 39. Mm. In Uganda, we have only Ooh. up to 28. 20. Yeah, 28, 20. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very cold there. This Okay. okay all right okay guys welcome once again you guys uh please if you have any question for joseph feel free to type your question <laughs> joseph will try to answer them as honest as possible if you also have yeah, questions sure. for me please ask uh joseph what is your source of income right now in uganda when when i left uh, right. you in uganda what how do you earn money now uh, right now uh <laughs> I'm like uh, right now, it's still uh, my business with mommy that uh, I told you about last time. Cocoa Which business. one was it? Can we be more, more specific so they can actually visualize? Yeah, cocoa business. Cocoa business. Yeah. Are you getting me? Yes, I can understand. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, cocoa business. Because like uh, every harvest, cocoa is becoming now expensive. And right about now, uh, people are having a little bit less. They're having some money. You can easily invest in cocoa and you get some good profit. Are you because... getting back your money the last time you invested? Yeah, yeah. Even I'm now fine like with the money, I got some good profit and I've now reinvested again. So mom is again resuming to buy cocoa since we came back from the barriers. And uh today today is uh thirteenth. Yeah. So it's really uh, the first first uh first harvest in the month. Okay. So other yeah. than the cocoa business with your mom, what else are your source of income for yourself? Uh, for myself, like uh, right now, I haven't yet set any other business aside, but I'm proposing set by this month, as I told you, mm. because uh, I've been making up a budget, uh, how much to invest in uh, the materials to use for that small business. So by this month, I'm opening that business very soon. Okay. Did you plan yeah. to work to, for someone else? No, no. No, no, no. Why not? Why not? A uh, reason being, I remember you, you told me, don't work for any other person. It's all about you to work for yourself. Yeah, but um, yeah, it, yeah, I understand that. But uh, do you like it that way? Uh, for now, I'm fine and comfortable with it. I'm very okay, you're comfortable, comfortable with it. it. Okay, someone was asking, what's the difference between Philippines cocoa and Ugandan cocoa? Well, I believe the varieties that we have in the Philippines for cocoa is not the same or not exactly mm. the same. But um, the, the, the big difference there is the end product of cocoa. Ugandans doesn't have a lot of uh, knowledge on how to process their cocoa and make use yeah, of true. it. And make and convert it to different products like cocoa powder, cocoa drink, cocoa uh, cocoa lotion, cocoa beauty products. There's a lot of things about cocoa in the Philippines, but Uganda mm. they only use cocoa for um, how do you use cocoa? You export it. We only export it <clears throat> because they don't have the knowledge, guys. Kung paano process yung cocoa. So yun pero the look of the cocoa and the beans and the taste is the same. It's just the variety. Oh. It means the color, the color of the of the, of the pot what? or the skin. Mm. Mm. Okay. And how how is Timothy doing? Uh, have you been updated with Timothy? Uh, Timothy, uh, I told you. I said we are live together, and uh, he told me he's just trying to do some small small jobs around in Zambia. Yeah. So uh, recently he got some clients to drive. Uh, around, I think around Kampala, because I've been following his videos. He got uh, some, uh, some, some bazungu to drive around Kampala, and then he was given some good money. But he's doing okay. some little jobs around Zambia. Okay, that's good. That's good. 
Yeah. Okay. I think Timothy <laughs> told me, messaged me about um, starting a project with him mm. or with us mm. together. But I'm mm. really, really soaked with a lot of things on my end. So I did not promise anything. Besides, I really want you guys to focus for yourself without the yeah. help of anyone else. Because mm. anyone is not going to be there for you to save you. You know, you have to be the one to strive hard for yourself. I kept on telling Timothy oh, yeah. that one. When I was yeah, in Kampala true. with Deep Tableya, I introduced for my friends there. Yes. They don't know how to do oh. Tableya in, in, in Uganda. Ludo, no, no, because yeah, your family, cacao can make chocolate. Exactly. So if you have any questions yeah. for Joseph, please feel free to comment down below, you guys. We have 15 minutes with Joseph Wistel. Of course, if you have not yet heard <laughs> about him, check out his channel, yeah. Travel with Joseph Uganda. Yo. Then, then, uh, how is the business, madam? I've been following you. How is the business of uh, Oh, Thailand? madam is so busy. You know, the expenses, <laughs> the expenses are too much because I am the one, yeah. uh, I am the one paying for everything. Um, mm. So I have to really work hard for the kids. They are still young. And um, also, yeah. it's my passion to sell. It always has been my passion to sell. So mm. I never stopped and I enjoy it. Now I sell accessories, I sell gold, I sell bags, I sell clothes. You see me wow, selling so nice. everything, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see you like you know, like you're always busy packing that net. I'm always seeing your photos on Facebook. Come and say hi. You always you always packing that nice things. Uh this is my niece. Come and say hello. Hello, hi. So, is your sister from Africa? Yes, from Africa. Oh, you want to be good? Where's Chico? Chico is playing outside. You know, Chico is a different yeah. energy. <laughs> from the ghetto. <laughs> Hi, Nimpa Polido. You got wow. the Wow, Evangelina. Isabella, I see Isabella. Wait, uh, Mommy, you're my mom. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's, that's what's happening here. Mm, yeah. So Auntie told me you want to come here, and then I told Auntie Joseph needs to save because I don't want yeah. to be. I want you to be responsible. I want to see how responsible you can get for what you want to happen in your life. Mm. I don't want to be responsible. I don't want other people to be responsible. But I want to see how responsible you are on the things that you really want to happen. So if you mm. want something, what are you going to do with it? Are you going to wait for someone to make it happen for you or you're going to do it on your for yourself? No. Yeah, you have to do it yourself. Besides, to you. mm. yes, besides, you will feel more reliable of everything that you will do next once you did something that is big. The milestone is yeah. big. It's not it's like true. someone is doing something for you and you feel like, okay, I got this thing very easy. Some things are very easy. Like that. Yeah, some things are mm. easy, but some things are not going to be easy, my man. Yeah, true. He did like you know. You, you have to put in more more energy, uh, more knowledge so that you can yes. get it. Yes. Yeah. Hi, Isadora. Do... Hi, Purple is life. Very hi, 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 guys. Congratulations for both of you and Timothy as well. Your reggae is now a favorite of my students. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Actually, Joseph That's and uh, right. Timothy has a very big potential in music industry. Very big potential <laughs> in music is the industry. Wow. Love the um, short hair, madam. <laughs> the short hair. Hair. Okay. So anyway, um, what else have we not spoken about? Let me see. I just miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a hectic life with me and a bigger scene. <laughs> I know, but now with life, uh, life has to, uh, has to move on still. Yeah, because me, what I know is we we'll always get people in our life, but still, life must move on. Though they are there for you or not, but life has to move on. Uh, that's true. Yeah. 
Okay, that's very Hi, Maria. <laughs> I miss you. I miss the weather in Uganda. I love the weather in Uganda. I miss it very much. But right now it's not raining. Like almost every day, it's raining all the day. Like in the mostly in the morning, uh, from six uh, to eight, it must be raining. Then by then, ah, it's I see, I yeah. see. Hi, Joseph. How's your goats? They say. Oh, my goats are nice. My goats are doing very fine. Though we are hoping to buy more too this month. Yeah, so we can make up eighteen. We are soon oh, growing nice. up our goats by ten. Yeah. Oh, I how, how, how old is Timothy again? They're asking. <laughs> uh, Timothy is uh, 30, 34. Yeah, 34. Yeah, Andy Christine is 36. Timothy is like 34. Joseph is 23. And I am 16 yeah. years old. Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Joseph? You are, you are 12. <laughs> I'm 12. Madame yeah. is 30, Madame is 33 years old. I'm turning 34 this November. It's my birthday, by the way, you guys. November 15. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much oh. for all your birthday greetings. I will be celebrating my 34th year this month. Okay. Thank you so much. This month, yes? Yes. Ooh. So, Madame is 34. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. We had uh, a beautiful, we had a beautiful year. I, I, I will send you Chikomando. Ah, oh, Chikomando. But you need to be the one to cook it. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Joseph, please Joseph, sing please. Isang Buhay. Ah! Joseph, Guys, can no. you sing your part? Sing your part, the one that you did, the rap. The rap, okay. <clears throat> but but you, you first give me water. First, first give me water. Give me water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. <clears throat> we come once to the world, my brother. Better live your life right. One thing, we all done no tomorrow. A simple thing, my sister, keep on your hustle. Keep dreaming, keep the high to the level. Light up all your candle, light up all your mercy, light up all your love and generosity. What love to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Madam, you don't next me. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know the last time I did a, sing, a song, they were all laughing at me. So please don't embarrass me right now to 268 people. <laughs> Maraming salamat you guys for being here. You know, Joseph is very talented when it comes to singing and I was also surprised. But I do believe that each of us has our own skill. Do you know, Joseph, yeah. I want to be a DJ. You know that DJ is oh. a radio announcer. But I want to really? be like... Yeah, I wanted to be a radio announcer when I was in, in university. It's my dream. No. My neck is, is tired from selling. Sorry, I understand. So, very nice. my mm. dream is to be a radio announcer and read love stories, love problems, and I greet mm. them in the morning. You know what You know what the radio announcer does, right? Yeah. Yeah, so like here in the Philippines, we say, good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are okay this morning. Of course, we have a letter sender for today. Oh. <laughs> we, I, I remember one time, uh, we were going to, was it? We were going to the studios with you. Yes. And you're like, tell me, I feel like I should be a radio announcer. And you're like, you will come back again. This is. This. I really wanted yeah, to be a radio announcer. Oh. But I see you can make it, can't you? Yeah, I hope I can try one time. I hope someone will invite me here in my town so I can make a vlog out of it. I'm so nervous. Ah. <laughs> I hope so, because I just want to do a, an, an experience. Like, you know, like read a love story. You know, everyone, we have a love letter for today. Mm. Yeah. This lady yeah. is having a really, really serious problem about her marriage. Uh -huh. Those things. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, but like me, uh, I love just being a, a also a radio presenter, but mostly uh, I loved like focusing on on celebrities, those ah. big celebrities like you know, uh, welcome back on eight eight point nine. Like you know, ah. like an example I said, uh, welcome back on eight. You welcome back on eight eight point one. This Joseph Chris in the studios running out this program. It's an evening rush, and we're having the biggest program in the building. <laughs> Something like that. I think we have to. I think we have to start our own radio station when we come back to Uganda. 
Why not? <laughs> we will call it Isang Buhay FM. Hey, FM. <laughs> Isang Buhay Radio Station on the Station. Rock. <laughs> Bringing you the best music all the way from the country. <laughs> Joseph, do vlog more of your lovely place. We like it. Yes, Joseph, you listen wow. to the people. They have a request. Yeah, let me be special to the, the, the comments. Yes. All right. Oh, when Joseph, <laughs> when, Joseph pretty, gets, when Joseph gets time to save and come here in the Philippines, we will surely have a re. Uh, we will sur- surely reunite here, and uh, yeah, mm. we will do a lot of things together. But for now, we are still. This is what we can do together, and I hope you guys yeah. have fun, and I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are still there and not going to leave us. Uh, through thick and thin. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> Where are you right now? Are you in the city? Yeah, I'm in our town. I'm in our town. Just uh, uh, since I came to buy these things, so when you're like telling me I online, I was like, yeah, I'm online. You know, I'm always online. Ah, okay. Pami uh, G so is not really happy. Really. She's sending us four thumb downs. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> we have three minutes four minutes left for this live i don't want to keep joseph yeah. too long and i'm also doing something here but i really wanted to see and uh ask how joseph is going on i hope that he continues his vlog very soon yeah okay that's good so where is your home right now are you far from your home yeah far from home it's uh five kilometers Ah, okay, quite far. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why I'm having a good network, no inconveniences, you know. Mm. Yeah. All right, talk Just to our people. Okay, guys, like, thank you so much for showing us love and support. Those from Philippines, Hong Kong, UK, Dubai, whatever you're watching from, guys, thank you so much. Maraming salamat po. I really appreciate the love you all are showing us and for supporting us from day one. And uh, secondly, I would love to thank you. Madam, they always call you Madam, by the way. <laughs> I always call you Madam. Yeah. So thank you so much, Madam, uh, for this beautiful life. And thank you for always um, uh, seeing me as part of the family because I'm also proud of that and I'm happy for that, by the way. Like, not everyone can give such a chance to be close to the family. Yeah. If it's like, in, mostly because in Uganda, a boss will just be on business with the work only. And it's up on that. But like, for you, it's kind of a bit special you, you brought me to your family and i'm now a family member so yes. i thank you so much for that really appreciate you for that madam oh thank you joseph for that very nice message uh the, yeah. you know i don't ask anything from you but just the sincerity of what you do to your life not for me yeah. not for anyone else but for you and your own family your siblings that's all me i don't care True. i don't need anything i can work hard for myself I don't uh, I don't expect you to do anything back for me, but I expect you to use what you learned in the right way and be sincere to your family, to your siblings, and to other people, especially the one who chose to support us along the way. Ayun, maraming maraming yeah. salamat everyone for being in this live. I hope you guys yeah. enjoyed and had fun on this very short live. Join live with Joseph Wisto. Don't forget to follow him up in YouTube channel. Ayun. Maraming salamat everyone, you guys. Much love from the Gigas. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you on the next episode. Cut. Cut. Boom. <laughs> Bye, Joseph. Bye, madam. <laughs>